stretched out just like we did with the pencil one and just like we did with the pen and the watercolour one and we're just going to build up a little bit of colour. Now because we've got this piece of paper sealed with acrylic we don't need a lot of acrylic paint to go on top of it. it was a, we don't need to put loads of paint out and um, we're going to stick to the colours that we used uh, in the watercolours with the addition of white. So we've got a burnt sienna, which looks a bit, looks a bit more browny. I've got a yellow ochre or raw sienna. I'll get the lid off. Again, if you don't need much paint out. need some black as well but we'll come to that later. Now the brushes I am going to use today we're going to use just a just a round hog one I've got these if you haven't got them to just block it in uh, a fan brush a hog fan brush is useful for doing fur also a comb or rake or combo brush which has got different as you can see different lengths of hair is used for doing fur and a fine one as well so again not a huge number of brushes if you haven't got that one then that one will suffice you don't need to have all of them and again we're going to uh, put this base coat on first of all don't worry about your white pencil fraying because it'll be covered up with the acrylic so I'm going to use my yellow ochre and then lighten it with some white and again thinking in the direction that the fur just lock in Strange burnt sienna colour. One of those uh, 